Hello everyone, it's Sandra here and I'm out in my greenhouse and this is Bitsy and it's November 1st so that means it's the start of pumpkin season for these worms. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, they're hanging on on the surface for me. At least a couple of them. And so we'll see how they are doing and we'll give them up their first taste of pumpkin for the season. So I was preparing this bin by sort of, um, I took the established vermicompost and put it over here and I put some new leaf mold over here. So first let's just look in the side that was uh, left alone for quite a while this summer. And so the worms did a good job at finishing up everything except these leaf stems. And you can see there's uh, like a mildewy fungal growth on the leaf stems. That means that they're underway. They're going to finish up. That's great. Oh, here's pumpkin seeds from from last year. I remember saying to my uh, worm group uh, to, uh, you know, you might want to toast up the pumpkin seeds for yourself rather than put them in your worm bins uh, because you'll be finding them. Look at here's two more, uh, two more pumpkin seeds. Um, you'll be finding them for a long time. You'll be sifting them out for a long time. And part of the reason is even though it's an entire year since I've uh, probably put pumpkin of any um, significant amount in here, um, I don't harvest my entire bin. I tend to take the larger bits and throw it back in uh, to the bin uh, to form part of the inoculated bedding when I do harvest. So the, uh, you know, things like pumpkin seeds stick around for a long time. Not only do they take a long time to break down, but uh, you know, they get sifted out every time and then they just get rolled over. So it's not unusual for me to f find something in my bins that I added a long time ago, even though this bin has gone through numerous harvests. This is a leathery piece of avocado. So I'll take it out of the end that I wanna do a partial harvest. I can take that out right away. All these leaf stems and pumpkin seeds, I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna leave those in. And let's just take a look now at the end that I put the nice new leaf mold in. I'll just move those right there. Let's take a look. This is the end that I fed to try to attract some of the worms over here. Put the old corn cob in here. It's heavy, so it's saturated with moisture got a worm on the outside of it. There's some stems from something. This leaf mold area is very moist. Again, some stems, bit of a tomato from the last feeding. This guy's gonna get pumpkin, I guess these woodier stems. I'm not going to hold that against you. You've cleaned up the rest of the food. There were a lot more worms in here last week when I was in here. I guess I'm finding a little pile now. But there were a lot of worms in Bitsy. There's the tomato. I haven't got into that tomato yet. That's all right, but I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to hold that against the worms and not give them pumpkin just because they haven't finished their tomato. I'm just looking at the rest of this. I don't know what that is. Um, somewhat breaking apart. It's very woody. So whatever it is, uh, it's slowly starting to break apart. Not sure what that is actually. But yeah, it looks like the, you know, this, these are, this bedding is my um, partly processed 11 month old, 12 month old leaf mold. So it's basically, almost all the way broken down now so you know the worms will still extract their uh, goodness from the microbes in that leaf matter anyway so I'll just uh, continue to feed in this end so I'm, I'll just move this over put these larger bits right down there again the stem the bit of tomato so I'll put the lumpier bits down there there we go. Just gonna get some more of my leaf mold. So this 
uh, leaf mold is uh, less processed than the matter that I put in last time. And actually, I remember we stuck some tomatoes in the top. I may take those out, but see, there's some more stems with some fungal growth on them. And I'll probably take those tomatoes out because Bitsy already has a tomato hanging around. And I'll throw those back in the leaf mold bin. And I just threw them in the leaf mold bin because I know there are worms in the leaf mold bin. And so I thought the tomatoes, if you know the worms go for a crawl, they'll find them. All right, Bitsy, are you ready for pumpkin? Now this pumpkin hasn't been frozen. It's straight out of our jack-o-lantern, but I just wanted to give this bin uh, some pumpkin, so that's probably enough, and uh, and set it on its um, way to continue the migration over to this leaf mold side, so I can pull out the uh, vermicompost from the other side and put it into one of my bins to mature and let the cocoons, any cocoons and wisps mature. All right, everyone, so that is Bitsy, first taste of pumpkin for 2022. And here we go with the worms that we scooped up off the bottom. I will rinse that tub out. It looks like Bitsy gets a lot of worms again this week. They were down having fun in the bottom. All right, everyone, take care for now.